This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. What is up, you little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you are new for some early access gameplay footage of The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. So I was granted a beta build of The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle due to the current conditions that are going on in the world. Um, so I only have the base game and Eco Lifestyle installed. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know, typically with my overviews, they're literally just overviews. They're a small piece of the big picture. I'm not going to go full steam ahead and show you every little crevice, every little thing, and completely spoil the game pack for you. That is not going to happen. Expansion pack, I mean. It is an expansion pack. I don't know why I keep saying game pack or calling it the Sims for Eco Life or Living, um, but it's going to happen. So anyways, if you guys are just kind of wanting a little taste, a little sliver of the pie, this video is perfect for you. Also, keep in mind, I will have various videos of the Sims for Eco Lifestyle uh, going up on the channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button it would really mean the absolute world to me to have you a part of the fam bam part of the team part of the sugar squad the hot mess express you know what i'm saying so uh yeah go ahead and smack that button for me and <laughs> say hello in the comments down below so let's go ahead and read off the uh, handy dandy info card um it contains four core uh i guess categories is what you could technically call them i don't know why that was so hard but um the first one is sustainable living reduce reuse and recycle not only is it good for the environment but it saves you simoleons too collaborative community engage with your neighborhood through the new voting board which features different neighborhood action plans each week everyone in the community has a voice your vote matters change the world every decision you make what power sources you rely on how you design your home and which neighborhood action plans you vote for influence the state of the world from smoggy skies to crystal clear waters upcycle decor need to alpha to start a house on a budget do it basically for free by fishing out a few pre-used items and a worn out mattress you can fix or a lightly singed oven you can shine up sister i hate to break it to you but there is no worn out mattress that you can just simply missed and fix but you know what <laughs> i guess we'll have to find out so in a nutshell that is pretty much um the gist of some of the things or some of the features that are in this brand new game pack um so i guess there's really nothing left for us to do but uh just to dive straight on in Welcome to the beautiful world of Evergreen Harbor. Upon your arrival to the map view, you will be greeted with three brand new neighborhoods. The first one is called Grimm's Quarry. When prospector Arnold Grimm's founded his famous rock quarry in Evergreen Harbor, he could hardly have predicted the little suburb that would spring up around it decades later. Today, a cozy set of homes, apartments, and spaces for community use sits in the shadow of the walls of the striking white stone. The next one is the Con Conifer Station. What happens when the trains stop running? Downtown Evergreen, affectionately known to locals as Conifer Station, may be a bit quieter nowadays. But residents will tell you that the defunct train station and unsightly storage tanks hide a hardworking community eager to improve their little corner of the world. The last and final one is Port Promise. What was once a bustling trade port now holds a number of homes and businesses that pay homage to their industrial roots and aim to, as the local expression goes, keep evergreen cookie. While the actual port may no longer be running, the promise of something better remains. Now, you guys heard it in Grimm's Quarry. Yes, my friends, apartments, 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 apartments have actually been featured in an experience pack besides city living and i'm so freaking excited i might even do a little like separate tour video on the apartments because they're too cute um so evergreen harbor features 13 lots in total and we have um two brand new apartment lots with two units in each so the first one uh the first ones are the stone street apartments then over in the comfort station we have the pine crest apartments with again two units these apartments are far different than the apartments in city living um again i'll do a little separate video on why that is uh, a little bit later we also have a bar that is 
is called the caboose we have three community spaces obviously one featured in each of the brand new neighborhoods the waterfront we also have the quarry building and last but certainly not least we have the spruce wood square and then to complete our world we have six brand new residential lots so there is one over here we've got one over there um here's a beautiful house uh featured by or featured with the sterling rico family um we also have this household here featuring my family <laughs> uh and then the tinker and then i believe just this empty lot over here called the canal corner now if i can be completely honest with you guys for a split second and I am very impressed by the way that this map looks. I love all the lots, the detail, the fact that we get apartments, and that there is a community space in each and every one of its neighborhoods. I feel like that is so over and over and uh, over and above, above and over and beyond <laughs> anything that I would have like even dreamed of them doing. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I'm super excited about that. And so one thing I do know is that the way that each one of these neighborhoods functions um is that well this neighborhood could be super eco-friendly and then over here you could literally have like a breathing problem you could be like in complete and utter like despair you know and then over here you could kind of like be in the in-between stage kind of like working on um, making your, your neighborhood a little more eco-friendly and yada, yada, yada. Um, also, side note, uh, the environmental effects do actually span over all of the worlds except for um, the vacation worlds. Just FYI, in case you guys were wondering there. Um, so this is the eco footprint mode. Um, so when you click that, you can actually see what each individual eco footprint currently is. So like I was telling you earlier, like literally all three neighborhoods are in a different state. So for this one, um, the eco footprint is neutral right so this neighborhood's eco footprint is neutral it is time to get out there and make a change then over here the eco footprint is industrial industry is booming reap the benefits of selling utilities for more simoleons having a better chance at rare collectibles and the household generator and the atmospheric water generator producing more utilities then we have eco footprint green enjoy the effects of fresh air and sun rays gardening will produce plants and harvestables at a higher quality and green utility objects will produce more. Not a fan of the eco lifestyle? Well, have no fear. Hop into game options, click the eco lifestyle tab, and there will be two different options where you can fine tune your eco living experience. The first one says enable NPC voting. If disabled, voting at the community board is user directed only the second option available to you is enable eco footprint gameplay if disabled neighborhood action plans and game objects will no longer affect the environment also side note down here it says eco lifestyle gameplay does not appear in destination world or strangerville before we get started i just wanted to go ahead and give you a brief introduction to our sims that we'll be following kind of throughout um this I guess gameplay it's kind of like a gameplay slash talk over I'm basically telling you guys um some information about the packs while following our sims's lives as they experience eco living so the first sim that we have is Marlo Tumwater she is an amazing rebellious free-spirited uh independent woman and I think she is just absolutely freaking incredible also um she's super ambitious but <laughs> she's uh, a little a little clumsy at times I'm gonna be a hundred percent real with you. Um, our second sim is her boyfriend. His name is Benjamin Daly. He is just a very compassionate, sweet young man. He is all for the community. He absolutely loves bugs, um, which is one of his little quirks. And uh, I don't know, he's just a really cool sim in general. So the very first thing I wanted to do was to check out the two brand new jobs for the Sims for Eco Living. The first one um, is a traditional career, and it is called Civil designer which you will see here in just a second and then the second one is just an additional category added on it to the freelancer trade um so it's a little more relaxed you kind of get to work on your own terms i definitely thought that this would be a little more fitting for marlo because she gets to create things uh she's going to become a crafter so she'll be able to use the, the fabrication table make some candles and just kind of do um life at her own pace ben on the other hand wanted something a little more structured
restructured, so he became a junior drafts person in the civil designer career. Um, you will notice later that it's actually a pretty hands-on career. You can even work from home, which is kind of cool too. I definitely had Ben do that a lot as well. His very first work assignment is to acquire some recycled materials, which you can find in so many different fashions. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. So this is their humble abode. I actually did a full-on speed build of this particular home. I do actually have the save to this as well. So I do believe this is something I can share with you guys guys um a little bit later and with that i added a dumpster which i will show you in just a second i'm not going to talk too much about dumpsters right now um but i will in just a little bit so yeah there there's the dumpster you can kind of see some of the things that you can uh do but because it is brand new there's nothing in it however <laughs> something ben does which is odd is he steals his own dumpster because he is a recycle and reuse type of a sim. Um, so maybe just him having like a dumpster on his lot like literally irks him to no freaking end. Uh, so due to his work assignment, I needed to find a way for Ben to find a full trash can, my friends. Okay, so I decided just to take a little look around. Um, I found our community lot, which as you guys can kind of already tell, um, it is not in the best of shape. In fact, there's really nothing there. Our current... Uh, um, I guess what is it called eco footprint state is industrial believe it or not I do actually get this to change throughout the video which is kind of a shock um, so here we are dumpsters oh, oh my god you can do so many freaking things I love dumpsters I really do like I never thought that I would love them this much you can dive for thrills which is a new woohoo um option I do actually feature this later in the video and then you can search for furniture um you can search for meals which is food uh sometimes you find like random things like a potato you can also sort out recyclables that's how you are going to have uh recyclables to complete your um what you will call it wait I think I think so we know no 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 so it's different okay sorting out recyclables doesn't mean you can actually just yeah use that towards your assignment um you need to find like recycled furniture and objects which is really cool because you can find so many things it is literally insane like you could furnish an entire house just with recycled goods it is crazy um you can also nap in the dumpster and from what i've learned there are items within it that only can be found in the dumpster which is also really freaking cool too so here is the home recycler we obviously don't have one of these right off the bat um but the cool thing with the recyclers is that you can also uh, get bits and bits are what allow you to craft and do DIY um, projects so you can get bits like in so many different ways by dumpster diving composting rummaging recycling sorting out recyclables um, you can obviously use a recycle ma machine as I've already told you guys to like break down objects um, and the way that you can kind of keep track of your bit balance as I would like to call it is just by hovering over your simoleons so like as you guys can see you get like 10,240 millions if I was to hover over that right now you would actually see how many bits my household has as a collective so this doesn't really do much besides just break down objects and again you can find so many recycled goods here I would love 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 to like open up a shop where my sim literally only sells recycled items like you could make a freaking a killing um so it says you've received your first bits and pieces from the recycler hover over the recycler or the blah 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 so you can hover over the machine um or you can also have you know your sim go and like hover over the simoleon so next we are checking out the community Community system. Oh my god. I don't know how much I'm gonna talk about this right now because like I really go ham and in depth a little bit later. This is just like me checking it out for the first time. And it felt so bad for Marlo because she's literally not doing anything here. Um and I wanted her to, since she is a freegan sim, uh, I wanted her to go and like start diving for some stuff too. So I think she's going to dive for ingredients. So I'm not really sure like what ingredients she'd be finding, like dyes, maybe some soy wax, some cool things like that. Um, so I've learned a lot. I've learned the secret to getting influence and I got a job as a sim designer. The influence just started rolling in. So yeah, we got five influence points now. <laughs> In the beginning, figuring out how the freaking hell to like get these bad boys is a struggle. I don't like, okay? Um, but 
here we are looking at some of the options for the community space board. Uh, I think you have like a total of five options, like five different uh, things you can choose from. You've got 28 neighborhood action plans, by the way. And obviously, depending on which ones you choose, that is actually going to directly influence your ecological state of your community. Um, and every single neighborhood that is in this world will have a different eco state, which is actually really sweet, too. Um, so, again, I will talk about other ways that you can earn your um, influence points a little bit later. So, uh, we have Marlo. She came back home. She wanted to make a candle. She didn't know how to do it. So, I'm like, um, what do I do? Uh, and then I also found... This box. This is this is this is a storage box. I haven't put anything in this box. I just named it my stuffs and called it a day. I think it is the cutest thing. Um, so I'm really curious to know like what you can put in there. Uh, then I wanted to check out the in insect farm. So there's like a few different um bugs that you can that you can put in here. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones they are. I think there's like grubs, beetles, and crickets, which is cool. Um, so we definitely will have Marlo go and check out the candle uh, making station in a little bit. But I thought this was like a worm. This is a grub. Okay. And what you can do is you can like um, compost to like throw compost in there. Um, I didn't really get to play with it as much. And then my grubs ended up dying. So later we get beetles. Oh my God. I can't even believe she's touching these right now. She really does not like bugs, but I feel like she likes Ben so much that she's willing to kind of get over it. I'm not sure if they're like meal worms or not um but we'll play that more uh, a little bit later and so i'm gonna have her go down the ladder which is a brand new ladder for this pack but believe it or not the base game is also getting their very own ladder which is a really cool addition that i honestly was not even um expecting so kind of going back to like the whole fabrication thing um there is a brand new fabrication skill and with that, you can uh, uh, per bleh, you can purchase yourself a fabrication book to kind of speed up the process. And other ways that you can build your fabrication skill are by creating things. I literally just missed it. Or wait, I know what I was looking for. Never mind. I wasn't just, I, I, I saw it. Believe me, okay? I was looking for something else. Um, so you can build your fabrication skill by playing with the candle station and then you can also um build it by obviously using the fabricator which we we don't have yet but we're gonna purchase one here in just a few short moments and i'm checking out some of the gigs there's a lot of cool gigs uh there's healthy living rugged dub dub square peg square hole a bright trio it's dub dumbucha um which requires a fizzy level a juice fizzing level have two, which is also another skill. And that was something that kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, there's a potato in her inventory. She found that from the trash, guys. <laughs> I love her. She just got a random potato in her inventory. No big deal. No big deal. I'm gonna make a hot potato later. Um, no wasting hair. So what was I saying? Because I just got all freaking distracted. Oh yeah, there's no fat no, there's no juice fizzing book, which is kind of weird. I thought maybe there would be one of those, but nope, 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 nope. Okay, so um, she has just acquired her very first fabrication skill. We are also taking a look at the brand new inventory um update which again is base game i have a whole video you guys on like eight things or come that i think they're coming wait hold on maybe not i'm <laughs> just kidding i just gave it away um wait no i do actually so yeah this is the brand new fabrication skill i can read on if you want um what was i saying yeah i got a video on eight brand new features that are coming to the sims 4 base game for absolutely nothing yeah, that video will be up later today. Um, so here is our fabrication station. You can purchase dyes and you can craft a freaking wonder load, okay, of things. Like, I don't get too far in the fabrication skill, um, but I really love how much you can create. I also really like going back to the whole dumpster thing, like I told you guys earlier, that there are um, unique things preparatory just to that um to, to the trash can so uh my screen just went black but um for our gig we were supposed to create a rug and I don't think I didn't think it mattered what rug so I just wanted to go and like purchase um uh like a red dye I think I purchased a red dye did I just did I not purchase anything no I was just looking at the color so yeah in order to change the color of your item you actually have to purchase the dyes for it and you can purchase it like on the computer um again you can search for ingredients or you can 
um, yeah, just purchase it straight from the machine itself. They're actually quite expensive, which is which is kind of annoying. Um, and then when I did have Marlo go and, you know, create the rug for whatever reason when she was finished, which I do think I actually show you the final result or maybe I was just fed up. Um, she wasn't able to, to send it to the creator. And you might also notice that Marlo was coughing a lot. That actually has to do with the current state of the air in um, Port Promise. It's it's a little it's a little smoky. It's a little foggy. Okay, so these next few moments crack me up. Um, I don't think you can die from the fabricator, but like Marlo is a little clumsy. So things often end up happening to her that you wouldn't quite expect. So everything is going fine and dandy. The machine is filling up with the appropriate dye. Wait, well, what? Well, What's this? Oh my god, it's got me and it won't let go. And uh, there goes Marlo down the rabbit hole. She is literally taking a bath. So I don't know if you guys saw a quick little glimpse, but she got chewed up, spit out like the dirty old rug she is. <laughs> She's got some regrets. Um, but yeah, you can also see the, the bits. And then this is Marlo in the future. Again, not getting the hint that she is not a fabricator, no matter how no, can't speak. No matter how hard <laughs> she tries. It's actually quite cute. It really makes me smile i feel like so far with this pack um i have i have uh i have really seen my sims personalities unfold um and you know what marlo's not a quitter so she went back and she she ended up actually uh she ended up finishing that rug so i think we can now find the rug in our household inventory, which I didn't show you because I got really frustrated and deleted it. So look at that. Look at that, you guys. Already so soon, our eco footprint is now in the neutral range. So um, I don't know if I have anything else to tell you about the eco footprint roll here. Um, found some couple. There's a rug. There's a rug. It's a good spot for it, right? In, in the front of our house. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so weird. Um, wait. So do we have we okay, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. We're putting we're putting the compost in the uh in the farm. Gotcha. We still got a grub, they haven't died yet. But um, you know, carrying up compost up a ladder doesn't work, just FYI. So, um kind of talking a little more about the eco footprint uh because i don't know when else i'm going to be able to talk about it um basically it affects all worlds minus strangerville and the vacation world um it can be turned off which is cool and the changes happen gradually so as you guys can see they're kind of in stages the air is no longer smoggy um which is nice and even just the overall lighting in the game seems to be a little more chipper which is actually pretty cool i like it either way i think it's gorgeous but you know whatever um and then you already saw of the meter uh, down below where you can kind of like check how things are progressing and and everything that you do really does contribute towards the um, economical state of your world I don't know if that's the appropriate word but uh, he really likes recycling and I wanted more bits so that we could go in and fabricate some more stuff I am literally flabbergasted okay by all of these items that we have seemingly discovered like what the heck is this like we got it we got a modern chair We've got a freaking tub. Um, I, I think we've got Hulk on our hands because I don't understand how Benjamin is so dang strong. He's like super, super, super strong. I love Benjamin, by the way. Like I love Marlo too. Like I just love them as a whole. I really want to use them for my LP because I am quite honestly obsessed. So holy crap, 463 bits. That is a lot. So that didn't seem to like in help my influence points. By the way, <laughs> you can cheat influence points too if you just really didn't want to be bothered. Or you can, like I said earlier, just disable it. If 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 wait, no, you can't disable it. Can you disable it? No, you can't disable it. What am I saying? Um, we're rummaging for more for more bits. We found some more bits in the trash can. Um, so I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have him go and die for more deals. He's just trying to collect as much furniture as he possibly can. Um, and then let me see what we're going to talk about next here. I'm trying to like keep up with myself, but it's a little, it's a little annoying. So, um, hold on a second. Oh, okay. So this is like where I discover how to start <laughs> earning said influence points without cheating. So I noticed, um, greeting new Sims, uh, actually helped get me some influence points. And then there's also specific interactions. I'll have like a little, a blue icon next to them that if you perform them, they too will also help you, um, get, get influence points. And it actually becomes a lot easier once you start getting the hang of it. However, 
you know, if you're a little too pishy about uh, pushy, <laughs> pishy, pushy about your values, well, then you might actually get a negative reaction instead of a positive one. So um, this also, by the way, is a new or not a new one, but this particular community lot is located in it's not it's not Grimm's Quarry, but it's the other the other um, the other neighborhood, which I can't actually quite recall right now. So Benjamin is trying really hard to wrap up some um some points because he wants to vote for a greener garden i think or a greener something something pertaining to gardening so i think we're gonna go and uh check out the neighborhood action plans or com check community space voting um oh speaking of which you can only do this by the way when you are on your lot so you cannot influence a neighborhood you do not live in which is probably you know no freaking surprise there um but to change the community lot um you actually have to be physically on it and then you can vote for it so it costs 10 influence points to cast a vote uh for any of the action plans and again there's 28 to choose from so we've got so freaking many we got wa water uh, conservation foodies unite green gardening is the one um, Ben's actually looking for right now but uh, he's just reading some things and then eventually he finds it and he's like oh I like this one so I want to I want to go ahead and, and pitch this suggestion to the neighborhood action plan um, so yeah it costs 10 I think just to even like push your idea out there and then 10 to also vote for which um you know community lot you want in your neighborhood and i think i well i don't uh, should i tell you i'll tell you a little bit later so yeah we went with this i was really upset because i i had like one more one more set of points to go ahead and cast so as you guys can see right now tech support and uncycling initiative are kind of winning um and then we have until i want to say um, I think we have until Monday at 6 p.m. So literally three more hours until uh, the next action plan, neighborhood action plan is in place. So um, there are, I think, a total of five that you can have in place at any one time. I believe you can appeal them too if you want to change them. Um, you can turn off NPC voting as has it's been mentioned earlier. And again, you can totally cheat your influence points if you are um inclined to so obviously okay uh we're probably not gonna win green gardening this time around i probably should have tried this a little bit earlier but i really wanted marlo to kind of back up her mans when it came to hello there bush tree log i don't know what we're doing um i really wanted her to like back up her man uh so i wanted her to get some some points as well underneath her belt and uh so i think right now i am trying to have uh this beautiful sim support our cause which it looks like she is totally down for so i don't know if that means she is going to be casting a vote towards green gardening but it's very well possible um so we have also learned that uh ada is a perfectionist i really also just love um you know like the the, the neighborhood and like the sense of community i think it's really cool um you guys will see here in a little bit later like how much or how involved our neighbors really are and the relationships that are built because of that closeness like already i feel like ben ben's just a really likable guy okay everybody loves ben okay so everybody loves Loves Raymond. Nah, 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 nah. It is literally everybody loves Ben. Um, and for whatever reason, he is definitely really getting super close to Blossom. Maybe him and her uh, share similar like ideas and things that they that they both want for the um the the community. So um with that, we're just kind of like waiting around. Okay, we're we're really hoping um that we're gonna win we we i, I, I kind of want to be the bearer of bad news here we don't but um ben's just kind of hanging out with marlo a little bit he's trying to trying to get her to support his cause anything that he can do to just like rack up some points at this point yeah he really wants her to support, support green gardening um so i think you can encourage sims to support your cause but it costs like five influence points i don't know if you get any if they if you succeed um but you know we're gonna go ahead and check the neighborhood action plan here in a little bit um there's like a whole lot of sims walking by so we wear bags oh wait no 
Oh, Jen, what are you doing? I didn't even realize that I voted for We Wear Bags. No, oh my God, I had a chance. Okay, so voting is now closed. We Wear Bags. Oh my God. And it takes effect immediately. So I won't be able to vote again until next Friday, which is like seriously ridiculous. So for the entire rest of the week, everybody and their mother okay was wearing these dopey bags now i was kind of expecting my sims to immediately start changing into these bags um but they didn't so ben wasted no time okay no 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 time even though votes aren't open yet he wanted to go ahead and throw in the green gardening so marlo being the supportive girlfriend that she is you know she just she might be thinking about engagement but we are unless we find that ring in the dumpster it ain't gonna happen uh but uh she uh you know she wants to cheer up good old benji and so she decides, why not go ahead and dab for some thrills, all right? Some cheap thrills in the trash can. And now, oh my God, oh my God. Can I, oh, he's struggling. Oh my gosh, how romantic. Oh my goodness, I love it. This, oh, his legs are straight up <laughs> like bunny rabbits, okay? Like the antennas from like the early 90s. So this, I know I should just shut up and like let you guys watch, but this animation, is by far hands down one of the best animations ever and i want you guys to pay attention to the very end for the subtle details i love how like trash is getting like kicked up onto the concrete i think that is like super super duper cute i love this so much um i, I don't know how i'd feel about conceiving a baby in a trash can but shoot i'd do anything once and uh just watch it is so cute i love it oh oh look at the flies Look at the flies, they make a little heart at the end. And then there's, of course, the traditional like fireworks. And then I love how she just falls on top of his chest. So Marlo has decided now that she has a little more fabrication skill, why not go and invest into some soy wax? You can get soy wax, obviously, through the marketplace. Um, you can pick up soy wax or I guess find soy wax through the soy plant. And then with the soy plant, um, you can find them kind of like on the outskirts of various neighborhoods and stuff and then um you can also what is it what is it what it is you can collect soybeans and then plant them so that you can get the wax or candles and then you can you know have the the beans to plant more soy plants so that eventually you just have an abundance of wax and you don't have to keep purchasing it material material <laughs> materials are very expensive in this game let me tell you and there's marlo again is showing us how crafty she is burning her freaking fingers because the wax is so hot it is seriously the cutest thing um obviously as you progress through the um as you progress through the skills, you will, or the skill itself, you'll be able to uh, create beautiful, 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 beautiful pieces of art. And um, I really like this, uh, this activity. I think it's like really fun and it's super like intricate too. Um, we'll talk more about candles like as we progress. Um, I'm not sure when exactly, but hopefully soon. I've got so many notes here. But um, anyway, uh, I ended up actually having Marlo create like a bunch of candles, which we'll go ahead and check out later. So you remember that potato that we had? Um, I decided to throw that in the, the juice fizzer. So I ended up pur purchasing one of these bad boys. And I'm going to start fizzing a rotten potato. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but... <laughs> You know, I love her. She is just so inquisitive, you know? She's like, eh, this can't hurt. Um, so with that, because that was the first thing that she did with the uh, juice fizzing station, she acquired the juice fizzing skill. You can make kombucha. You can make so many different things. And depending on how many items you throw into the fizzer, that's like how many um, or how big of a package you'll receive. So because she only threw like a potato in there, right? She's only going to get like a bottle of potato juice fizz, which it looks like it's now done. Um, and we're going to call it suspicious fizz. Like that's perfect. What am I even thinking about? Why do I, why do I got to think about that at all? Like, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Let's do it. Um, where are we? I'm like really ahead of time here. What is going on? Okay. Yeah, that's why. All right. Anyway, um, you can kind of see the candles and you can also see the bottle uh obviously marlo's not stupid she wasn't born yesterday she ain't gonna drink that ish she gonna leave that there and guess who's gonna drink it <laughs> ben <laughs> i love her she's like hey babe made this for you taste it and let, you just let me let me know how it goes and he's like oh a fizz for me you, you shouldn't have i also really love this bottle but i don't love how green that drink is and um well 
<laughs> you're gonna notice that unfortunately that probably wasn't the smartest choice um ben ends up getting a brand new moodlet called dangerously busy and um yeah sometimes you're just having way too much fun to be concerned about your well-being i think if your sims drink enough fizz something happens but i don't remember so you know it's been a little bit and uh our girl here she can now make these thicker candles i don't know what it said um which is actually really exciting i'm gonna have her go ahead and bust out this mold here i really love the candles oh my god i want to be able to create the ones that have like all the little crazy things on them um but yeah she's just she's just you know she's busting it out right now she's looking she's waiting for it to to solidify to harden a little bit I'm getting impatient as hell. So um, scrap. we can scrap it. We can, you know, purchase ingredients from the table. We can make other candles. Um, and then the same kind of thing applies with crafting stuff. Uh, Benjamin successfully swiped an object without drawing any unwanted attention. He stole the, the dumpster. Yeah, okay. And also, side note, I ended up purchasing one of these marketplace tables. So that's also really exciting. So there's an up-close look at the Sindril, Sindril, um candle she actually had to do this for a client and uh there's a kind of like a little view here of some of the other candles and like you know the trash piles and the soy wax and stuff so we headed over to our community lot which obviously is still looking pretty sad i wanted to go and um sell these on the uh, entrepreneur's table just to try our luck it's not in marketplace yet like literally nobody comes here but again i just really love how ambitious this girl is so i'm gonna let her go and fulfill her dreams so we've got candles of all shapes all sizes not just all, one 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 dip candle you know we're 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 a little bit of a it was a newbie to this i guess um an amateur and so i have all different colors here and i made a freaking lot of these okay um i even decided to like sell some soy wax i thought i thought i was really doing something here boys i really did i really did um but we're gonna have her we're gonna have her go ahead and you know shoot her shot why not try we're gonna start a little yard sale we're gonna see how it goes i love how benji is here to support his girl and he's over you know recycling things and dumpsting in the divers and the dumpsting in the diving um but overall it's a really it's a really good day for a yard sale so we got more of the trash bags coming on through that's katrina and it looks like our job agency is calling you know what move on um that kind of confuses me a little bit what do you mean you can select a gig while you're doing what i'm doing that's actually really i just now realized that i was getting those notifications um ben found some rotten yogurt in his dumpster or in he, wait he found some rotten yogurt in the dumpster that's actually really freaking gross oh my god okay let me see um so another thing that i wanted to mention i don't know if this is a glitch or not but um when i had marlo remove the candles from the table they turned white which was really annoying because i don't know if you remember me telling you but like yo the wax dye was expensive like super duper expensive so while we're here and we're like praying things are going to sell ben obviously has you know some some causes to get out there so he is going to continue to try to like build up his relationship relationships with his neighbors and also like you have other people from other neighborhoods like visiting too so like you know it's not just people that live in your community which is kind of cool but either way he has a cause and he wants everybody to know about it so uh i'm gonna be honest with you ben Ben really likes to, you know, spit, spit, spit the spit. Um, but he's not a really good smooth talker, so it doesn't really go well, too well for him. Um, I'm kind of just looking at some of the things that I got to do, which we do end up actually working on them later. Uh, this is when I realize, oh crap, I need two more cylinder candles instead of one. Um, the gigs are cool. I, I do like the jobs. I do. Um, I Again, I didn't really get to play like a heck of a lot. Uh, I kind of just scratched the, the surface. And this is this is at the point where, you know, Marlo's like, nobody's going to buy any. I think she sold like a candle. Um, but with her selling at the market or on the marketplace table she i think she started earning influence points right am i did you guys see that maybe it was just me i don't know might have me might have been just me being kind of hopeful here but um yeah i think that i think that's what uh ended up happening so i'm just kind of like closing up or wrapping up at the community lot and i think we're gonna probably um go back home here in a little bit i'm trying to see where else are we where else well where, where else we are um here for a second sorry i'm like trying to look at my notes it's kind of annoying so yeah marlo's like giving up ben's like are you sure babe like you, you don't want to try 
anymore. So I wanted to get um, a little garden started. So I ended up having Marlo purchase some like some some seeds and stuff, and we're just gonna have her go and kind of open up the packets and that type of a thing. Again, I still have this house, so I mean I might play with this a little bit later, but um. She decided instead of starting a garden, <laughs> she's going to go and throw it into the, uh, the the fizz maker. So this is when she pours all of her, um, which you can only fit like a quantity of five. She puts five of um, the apples into the machine. And this is actually going to give her a six pack of fizz, which is kind of nice. Um, and the thing is, is like you can put pretty much any, anything in here. And yes, it obviously costs money to, to start crafting these items. Um, but you can't mix and match things. So you can't make like an apple banana fizz. I mean, maybe if you get more skilled at it, but like right off the bat, you're not going to be able um, to do that at all. So something else I wanted to kind of share with you guys about the candles while I have them out. See, they all turned like this yellow color. I don't know what's going on. Um, is you can... You can melt the candles, right, just like naturally, so you can light the candle. And then you can also, um, you know, have it just gradually start melting, which is actually a really cool thing to witness. It has like a beautiful little animation. Um, or you can extin extinguish it, but you can also cheat it as well. So you can set the burn level and you can do like half burned, right? Or you could go ahead and do like mostly burned and then some burned or you could go and set it to new. I do think there is a way um, that you can permanently set the candle. Uh, yeah, you can turn off the ability to let it melt or not. And then also in addition, um, which is probably a no brainer, these will work perfectly for off the grid. So like the off, off the grid experience that we have been kind of working towards in the game, definitely, definitely, definitely now more than ever um, is a huge possibility. So, um, I think we're kind of like wrapping up the evening here. Okay, wait, no. <laughs> Marlo's going back to uh, create a eco upgrade part. So, you can actually, hold on a second. Oh, hey, hey, hey there, champ. I've got this business idea. So, that is another thing that I kind of wanted to talk to you um, really quick, and we'll go back to Marlo. Um, neighbors. Oh, my God. So, neighbors and, 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 and Sims in the community, I feel like they push for relationships more um and you get opportunities and new chance cards like that one for instance where you know this sim wanted ben to invest in her company by giving her a thousand simoleons there's her six pack of apple fizz um and i think that's really cool so you're going to notice through all the rest of this video how that kind of progresses and how it <laughs> inevitably ends so mrs graceful over here broke the fabricator and of course we have our dear neighbor coming to the rescue uh and offering to fix it for us so again Again, going back to the neighbor thing, I really love how involved they are. And it, it, because they are so um, forward with trying to build these relationships and outgoing, you start just kind of inevitably getting attached to, to your neighbors or to other sims in the community, which, to be honest with you, doesn't really happen. Like, I don't feel like I have that experience any other way. So um, I wanted, I wanted uh, Marlo and Ben to kind of, like, wind down, even though this isn't much to look at they love port promise they absolutely um love this this community they actually met here believe it or not <laughs> it's a cute little love story um so it has a very um huge part of their heart like it, it's just it's super sentimental to them so they're both grabbing a nice little a nice little fizz i was hoping that they would come out and relax on these lounge chairs with it but that kind of like didn't work i don't know what the heck is going on that yellow thing back there is a do collector by the way we haven't collected anything only thing only doing we've been doing is each other and breaking the damn fabricator um and there's also some garbage there i love how she just kind of left that so we're chilling like a villain like a boss just kind of hanging out uh it looks like our friend is kind of you know just hanging around um also you can upgrade your toilet by the way this is kind of random upgrade your toilet to a com com compostable compostable toilet uh by using the um what, what you call it by using the uh eco parts eco upgrade parts rather so i don't know how much work that takes but i do know it's a possibility so um i actually was going to have ben go feed the worms some compost i don't know if he's gonna go do that or not but uh also another thing 
um, which you guys will see in a little bit. Um, maybe I won't talk about that right now, actually. I don't know if I should talk about that now or a little bit later. I don't know what Marlo is doing. She's playing some computer games right now, actually. I was going to have her go chat with the client so she can get some, some work done. But, okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is actually, um, wait, hold on. Feed grubs, feed compost to grubs. So if I feed the compost to the grubs, I don't necessarily have to... Oh, I can nurture them and I can clean out the farm and I can collect biofuel. So biofuel is something we will actually collect later. I don't know what this is supposed to do, um, but it is something that is available. So anyway, uh, this is a new update. We have a new billing system, which is actually really cool. So as you guys can see, our bills and utilities are no longer one bill. You get an explanation, an invoice. Yes, we got law taxes, power. We got other taxes, tax breaks, and penalties. I go into much greater detail about this um, in my video where I talk about the updates that come with the base game. Um, so also, uh, if you have like extra solar panels and I think power generators, things like that, um, you would definitely need a lot of them. You can sell your power. So essentially, you could like really be like the head honcho of utilities if you if you really wanted to so I think that was kind of a cool little feature and so as I was saying earlier here comes Bess apparently she uh needs a little more help getting her business off the ground you know she, we could give Bess another a thousand simoleons we can tell her we can't afford it uh, we can call call him out for not paying them back but you know Ben Ben's a patient man he believes in Bess so he's gonna give her that hundred thousand dollars and wish Bess the best <laughs> <laughs> he was a little hesitant that time so I, I we have we have paper bag girl she came back um apparently over the weekend she ended up fabricating for something for us and wanted to wanted to drop it off at the house see that's the thing well, that i'm talking about i love the new chance cards and believe me believe me when i say there's more chance cards than the one that you're seeing about best like there's more um and they get really interesting too i don't know if i want to tell you but there's definitely somewhere and you can um once you become more talented or at least a little more skilled in the fabricator um you know skill set you can actually gift your creations to people too which is kind of cool so if you like for instance um this sim she made something for marlo she can gift it to her because obviously she's got she's got a skill or two um so marlo is feeling really inspired right now so she wants to go and craft a chair but not just any chair she wants a specific color chair marlo's favorite color is red in case you guys didn't already pick up on that she loves red so she's going to and craft a red um fabricated outdoor chair apparently i didn't know that was an outdoor chair so yeah you can gift things which i know is only like a capability with seasons but you can also do it here and so bess <laughs> is back at it again um and it looks like she's gonna need an extra thousand dollars because she literally blasted through the other grand and this is kind of when ben was like you know what you're being you're being a little irresponsible so i'm gonna go ahead and say no so he said no and she got quite upset and was like you know what fine i'm never gonna i'm never gonna talk to you again um and i'm not gonna lie like wow hit me right in the freaking feels like seriously shake my shamrocks why don't you because i was like kind of upset like Bess got mad best be best seven like, i don't even know what's going on like she was like what i don't remember oh wait i don't remember fine here's a few thousand simoleons for the trouble you know <sighs> wow way to make me feel like a piece of poo poo so she did she ended up giving me back all of my investment um i wonder if i would have just stuck with it like if i would have ever seen it uh if i would have had a little more belief in um in best here so you know what you, you snooze you lose it's not a big deal um anyway kind of going back to the whole neighborhood action plan because we do need to get some action in this thing neighborhood okay things have been kind of like been sidetracked a little bit lately um wow Ben's got a lot of influence points. I can't remember if I cheated at this point, but let me tell you, <laughs> this time we are voting for green gardening and we are going, we are going to win. Okay, so I invested all of my influence points into green gardening, which obviously, come on now, numbers don't lie. We're going to win this one. We've got this. So I think we have like a couple more days um, to be able to really push this through. And it's kind of weird that this is what he's going for when, to be honest with you, he doesn't even garden. So I don't, I don't really, maybe for the grubs, do it, for, do it for the grubs. Um, so yeah, we got some more influence points. Don't ask me how I did that. I wanted to make this a, a maker space, right? So basically a place where Sims can like sell their goods and whatnot. Uh, they can, um, craft, recycle goods, dabble in activities. Just basically it's like an, it's like an artsy place, right? Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Why did I say that? I was really thinking about it though. I decided to go for a marketplace because at the end of the day, money rules everything. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of weird that he would vote for that, but like Marlo was like such a frugal sim. Like she would, 
I mean, but I guess maybe a place where she can sell her crafts is why he was doing it. I really don't know. So we've got beetles. We can collect beetle nuggets. Okay, I don't, it's poop. I don't know what it is, but it's poop. And we can also collect some biofuel too. Now, can I just tell you for a quick little second, this pack already, I love my Sims. Like, I love my Sims. They have so much personality. I feel like there's so many details when it comes to this dang game that I was not expecting it at all. Like, I was not expecting it at all. I am literally shocked. And we'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. But uh, I also wanted to talk to you guys about the brand new death. So, there is a new death in the game, and it is Death by Flies. So, in order to kind of, like, have your Sim basically flirt with death, you have to, like try to clear the flies which was what marlo was doing right now because as you guys can see um they're fighting back so we have a lot of trash in this trash can and i think it's also really cool because within your home you can reduce and reuse and kind of take that trash which is a lot okay we can even stomp for cockroaches and by kind of going through it and sorting it out through like recycles uh, recyclables and like compo compostables and ingredients even um you can reduce your your waste so i thought that was a kind of a cool little feature right now marlo not a fan of bugs. Do what did I tell you? She's not a fan of bugs. Such a polar opposite than Ben. He's like, what are you doing? Save the fly. And she's like, hell no. <laughs> I'm gonna slump them with my boots. But uh, she is gonna go. She is gonna go rummage through the trash. And you'll see what I'm seeing in just a second. Like kind of how like she reduces um, her her waste there. I thought that was kind of a cool little a little feature. I had a lot of fun, you guys, just exploring this pack. Like I I really can't even. I just, I can't even envision playing the game without it now. It's just so much fun. I just, I love all the little attributes. And I feel like this is going to perfectly integrate, like, into um, everyday life, regardless of whether or not, like, you know, this is your bag or not. So, um, we've got a couple, like, fizzy things in the inventory. Um, ben just submitted, or he's about to submit a um, municipal community project i think um is this the tablet that comes with the freelance career i'm not really sure uh yeah a minute minu minu i can't talk i cannot say these big words municipal concept yeah so we have a blueprint and we need it to submit this via the mailbox so uh marlo was talking to him about what they were gonna go do today and he's like i'll be right back babe i gotta go and submit this real quick so that's what he's gonna go and do um kind of like help him propel his uh his career here and i'm really like intrigued to see like what his like the future of his job looks like and kind of like what kind of influence it even has um on the community speaking of community i love how even the mailbox guy is wearing a freaking bag on his head like what is going on what is going on um this is our brand new community space so obviously you guys uh ben's votes went through he kind of he kind of he's kind of getting a little you know a little bossy up in here a little a little 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 i don't know he's he's making a name for himself so there's also a brand new kiosk we're gonna talk about that in just a freaking second um i'm also gonna pull up some other things just in case i might have missed something here which i'm pretty sure i did i think i covered everything actually surprisingly enough so um yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go talk about the uh, the new foods hold on let me pull this up because i'm gonna miss it and i'm gonna cry because this is awesome so i don't know what he's looking at he's looking at the the neighborhood action plans why we juice community sharing is caring power conservation um modern development in port promise hmm i wonder what that would do it's actually really interesting there are so freaking many um, I think, oh, I just think I wanted to submit a new one, right? Oh, so this time we decided to promote, uh, promote the creative arts, which is absolutely amazing. So you guys can kind of see on these tables here, like the brand new candles and, um, the cans of like the fizzy drinks. Uh, we end up pick picking up a couple bottles of, or cans actually of the, of the fizzy drinks, bottles or cans, one of the two, um, just to try them out and, uh, you know, see what else we could, what, what else we could, um, create in the future. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to like see what else can be made there's like a little um there's seltzer we've got like a, a pineapple fizzy drink a happy flirty seltzer so like some of these will go ahead and um influence your 
Here's Sims' his moods in, in their state, which is actually really cool. I think Ben is standing in line to, to try one of these brand new dishes. Um, so we actually have three brand new uh, dishes. We have popcorn crickets, cricket meal, and bombardier beetle stir fry. And that one is kind of like an artsian plate or artistian plate. I can't talk. Okay, we know this. Whatever. Um, but um, that's like 50 dinks simoleons. I forget. I think he gets like the cricket meal or something. Uh, so apparently I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh you can create seltzers you can create kombucha you can create fizzy drinks all sorts of different things and our our, our cricket meal just got stolen that is super super annoying what what the happen come on try it again why do you even want cricket meal in the first place ben like you're so weird <laughs> oh my god i love him um he loves bugs but he's gonna eat them like come on with the logic please i don't understand um, so, as you guys already know, like, we're getting, um, firefighters in the repo man, in case you guys didn't know, but I don't want to, like, tell you too much about my video that's coming out, so if you guys want to see that in action, gotta watch that video. Um, but yeah, I think we pretty much, like, covered everything. Um, right now, Marlo is just chatting with the fizzy drink, um, the fizzy, the fizzy drink tender, and she's gonna go ahead and kind of, like, tend the, I don't know, I just thought maybe she would get some simoleons or something. At one point, she ended up actually kind of being sad because she was earning so many simoleons millions like it just wasn't her thing like she just didn't like she just kind of she wants to live very like you know frugally or very like she wants to be a minimalist there we go um so yeah we're kind of just spending the last few moments uh here at the community marketplace now and i'm really enjoying my experience like i really am like i was super super sad i only had a few days with the game um and i ended up actually only having like a real like one real day um just because like life was super busy and also i purposely Try to hold my sa myself, <laughs> hold my sack, hold myself back from playing, um, because I really want to enjoy my All let's right. play with you guys. So if you would like me to use Marlo and Bed in a brand new LP, I'm probably gonna do it. Like I'm 90% convinced I'm gonna do it anyways. Just sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your favorite part about this video. What is something you're super excited for? And again, remember, like this is more of like a gameplay, kind of like my first experience, kind of a walkthrough. Um, by no means did I want to or intend to cover everything I know so many people are going to be covering um all different assets of this pack and so I don't necessarily uh want to be the one to do that because like again I, I really do want to be surprised um with you guys when RLP comes rolling around which is so exciting I don't know when that is going to be but it's going to be soon so also side note while we're here I have a bunch of other videos on uh eco lifestyle in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out and then I have a giveaway that is up till the 4th if you want to go ahead and try your hand at winning yourself a copy, um, that is also an option that is available to you. So there's the brand new fabricated eco part, which we can give a gift. But instead, um, we end up giving Ben, uh, kind of making up for earlier, <laughs> we gave him the rotten potato fizz. We're giving him a nice pack of fizzy drinks that are not rotten. Um, but yeah, so anyways, you guys, uh, he ended up actually giving me a yellow canary diet back. Oh, that is so sweet. We actually received gifts in return that's amazing but anyways i think this video is coming to an end i hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me here today and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below which sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys i'm looking for a brand new star i know i got some trouble getting over you I think that I've played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute